Stephanie from Kids Can. Welcome to Storybook STEM. Today we're going to read a classic story and then after that we are going to build a structure to see if it can withhold the wind of the big bad wolf. So today we are going to read The Three Little Pigs and this version um, is written by Mara Alperin and it is illustrated by Ag Jakowski. There once were three little pigs named Horace, Boris, and Percy who lived together in a teeny tiny cottage in the forest. One day, Mommy Pig said, you're all too big to live here, so you must go and build houses of your own, but beware of the big bad wolf. Take care of your houses, are safe and strong. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, chuckled Horace. Not me, giggled Boris. And so the little three, and so the three little pigs set off. Before long, they reached a large field. I'll build my house right here out of straw, Horace cheered. Straw, are you sure? asked Percy. Oh, yes, Horace said. Then it's playtime for me. And with a pit, pat, pat, and a hip, hip, hey, Horace built a house out of straw. Soon after, Boris and Percy reached the edge of the woods. I'll build my house right here out of sticks, Boris squealed excitedly. Then I can go and play with Horace. Sticks, is that wise, asked Percy. It's perfect, Boris said. And with a stack, 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 and a tra-la-la, Boris built a house out of sticks. All afternoon, Horace and Boris laughed and danced. They had quite forgotten their mother's warning. But Percy plodded on. I want my house to be safe and strong, he thought. And then he came to a brickyard. This is just what I need, he said. So after, day after day, Percy worked with a rumbly bump and a tip tap tap and a heave heave ho until at last his brick house stood tall and proud. The summer passed, then one day Horace was taking a lovely bubble bath in his little straw house when he heard something growling. He peeped out of the window and saw two big beady eyes. By my snout, cried Horace, it's the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, yelled Horace. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and whoosh. Horace's house blew down, down, down. Horace yelped and scurried all the way to Boris's house of sticks. Look out, he cried, dry, diving behind the sofa. There in the window were big beady eyes and sharp pointy claws. It's the b -b big b bad wolf, ch Boris chattered. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, roared the wolf. Not, not, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins, screamed Boris. And then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and crash. Boris's house clattered down, down, down. Horace and Boris squealed and galloped all the way to Percy's house of bricks. Look out, they shouted, and Percy saw big beady eyes, sharp pointy claws, and truly terrible teeth. It's the big bad wolf, he cried. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, howled the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin, shouted Percy. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But Percy's brick house stayed up, up, up. The big bad wolf couldn't believe his whiskers. I'm the big bad wolf, he howled. No tasty little pigs ever get away from me. Oh, help, shivered Horace. He's on the roof. Well, what, what shall we do, asked Boris. Quick, I have an idea, whispered Percy. Yum, 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 here I come, laughed the wolf, and he slid down the chimney. Right into a giant pot of boiling water. Ow, 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 screamed the wolf, burning his bottom. Then he leaped up from the pot and ran away as fast as he could. After that, the three little pigs never saw the wolf again, and with the help from Percy, they built one big strong house where they could all live together. All right, that was our story of the big bad wolf. So now we are going to build a house, and we are going to build our house to try to withstand our big bad wolf, who is a hairdryer. So that is one of our ingredients or materials that we need today. Our second thing is we need a paper plate 
with a little piggy taped on it. So I printed mine off just on using Microsoft Word as a clip art, but you could use any papers you have. You could draw it, colors, markers, you could paint one. The only thing is we have to make sure it's going to fit inside of our house. And then we need some toothpicks. So these are something that you can get easily at the store. I am going to use dots for my materials today, but you could also use marshmallows. You could use gumdrops. If you have jelly beans left from Easter, you could use those too. So these are our ingredients that we, or materials that we need to use today. So the next thing we're going to do as we build, I want to kind of you to keep in mind some geometry. So we are going to look at some two-dimensional shapes, some three-dimensional shapes. How many squares do you have? How many triangles? We're also going to learn about vertex, and these are the points. So these are the points where our gumdrops come together. So I want you to count how many of those vertex that you have in your building. The last thing that we do at Kids Can when we build, we learn about the engineer design process. So I want you to ask yourself some questions about what your structure is going to look like. Imagine it. So think about it in your head and then you can design it. So you can plan it, you can write it out on a piece of paper, draw a sketch. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build it. So I am going to get out my toothpicks and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna need, I'm gonna put out a stack of toothpicks here and then I'm gonna get my dots. So the one thing with whatever material you use, if you use dots or marshmallows or gumdrops, you can only use 12. So you can't use more than 12, you can certainly use less. So I'm going to say for my structure, we'll try, we'll start with, how many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to start with my eight. I'm going to move my little piggy off to the side so you can see. So you're going to take your toothpicks and you are going to use, we are going to build our structure. So my house, I'm going to make square. So most houses are squares, but you can make it any shape that you want. So. All right, and then we need to build our walls. So I'm going to build these up on the sides. There we go. I'm going to add my gumdrops right here. So I've used eight, so I can use four more gumdrops out of this. So I need to get a couple more toothpicks. And we are just using one toothpick between each gumdrop. Okay. So I'm just gonna use eight gumdrops and then my toothpicks, and this is going to be my little structure. So. I am going to put my little piggy in his house and then here comes the big bad wolf. Do you think it's going to fall down or do you think it's going to stay up? What's your hypothesis? Remember that's an educated guess. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's pretty strong. My piggy's going, but my house is staying up. So I must have built it pretty good. So our next thing for our uh, engineering design process is that we would improve. So let's say if this one fell down or if your house fell down, what you wanna do is go back through your steps that you did and try to create something else. So I actually made a second house that I could also use. And with this one, I used two toothpicks per each one and I used all 12 of my dots. So. Remember, we talked about our verses. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So wherever my gumdrops are, those are gonna be your points and we can count on those. So let's see if this one can stand up a little bit better. Ooh, it's kind of blowing a little bit more. But once again, my house stays up. So thanks for joining me for Storybook STEM. I hope you enjoyed it. Other things that you could do at home now, um, Find a story. You could read it to uh, one of your uh, siblings in your house or a parent. Ask them what they would do. And then I also challenge you, find other materials in your house. What else could you build with besides toothpicks and dots? I also made um, a house out of bricks, um, Lego bricks. So this kind of simulates the last house that's made out of bricks. And do you think that the wolf would be able to blow this one down if I put my little piggy inside there?
in my door. There he is, safe and sound. Well, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon.